Hi, my name is Ryan Takamiya, and this is a preview of my workshop, Storytelling for Success, where you will learn how to harness the power of storytelling to your advantage in both work and life. In this segment, we'll be talking about how storytelling affects your brain. I'll start with a story of my own. Once when I was 17 years old, I was driving around at night, and I got pulled over. Now, this is the first time I had ever been pulled over in my entire life, so I was naturally terrified. And it was also the middle of the night, so I had no idea what was gonna happen. The police officer came up to my car, very sternly asked for my ID and registration, and then asked me to step out of the car, which, of course, is the worst thing you can possibly hear in that moment. I asked if anything was wrong, and he said just step out of the car and walk to the back of the vehicle. No explanation given. So I, I got out of the car, but I was trembling. And I walked very, very slowly to the back of the car, not knowing what was gonna happen to me back there. The police officer was standing there with his arms crossed, his hand on his chin like this, looking at my taillight. And then he looks at me and he says, your taillight's cracked. You got some white light shining through. Now technically that's illegal. But don't worry about it, here's all you gotta do. Go to the hardware store, get yourself some red tape. Put that right over the crack. The white light shines through his red, and then you're legal until you can get it fixed, all right? Have a good night. And uh, I almost fainted. <laughs> Cop drove off and I, I had to stand there for a few minutes afterwards just to collect myself because I was so incredibly scared. Okay, here's how that story altered your brain chemistry. If at any point in the story you felt suspense, then your brain released dopamine. Dopamine helps you focus. It increases your ability to remember things and it snaps you to attention because you wanna know what happens next. If at any point you laughed, then your brain released endorphins. Endorphins help relieve stress and pain and also create a sense of euphoria, the same kind of euphoria that you might feel after an exercise. If at any point in the story you felt happy or even sad, then your brain released oxytocin. Oxytocin is often called the cuddle hormone. It gives you that warm and fuzzy feeling and prepares you to bond with the person that you're listening to. And lastly, if at any point in the story you felt fear, then your brain probably did one of two things. Either it released adrenaline. Now, as we all know, adrenaline makes you breathe faster and your heart pump faster pumping more oxygen to your muscles, preparing you for action. This makes things feel thrilling. Or your brain released adrenaline and cortisol. Now cortisol is what we call the stress hormone. And it's a potent mix, the two of those chemicals together, that makes you feel terrified and puts you in a state of fight or flight. Which is why some people love scary stories because they find them exhilarating and some people hate them because they find them stressful. So as you can see, stories have the power to physically change the brain, to move the listener emotionally, and to be more memorable. Overall, it's a much more impactful way of communicating. In the next segment, we'll talk about the different types of story structures there are, and how you can structure your own story.